Cosmic Heron. And today, guys, yesterday, no, actually, not yesterday, was it? No. Uh, two days ago, basically, on um, what's the day? It's 24th, so 23rd, today. Uh, basically, December 26th, 2016. The, the date is right now, it's December 21st, 2016. We basically watched um, Star Wars Rogue One um, on December 22nd, 2016. And here's my review. I mean, it, it was extremely good. Like, if I mean, it was like beyond perfect. I mean, if you rate it like out of four, like you know, because um, like it's a college rate, I guess, on a scale from one to four, a zero to four, rate it a seven, like um, because like seven in my opinion was like quite, not li literally, but kind of like God made it. It was like extremely perfect. Like, I mean, it's basically the, I mean, but basically got an A plus plus, or basically got the high score ever. I mean, it's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to give some spoilers in this video, kind of, it's not, well, kind of, um, let me, um, but basically, it's between, it's not Star Wars 8, if you guys didn't know, Star Wars Episode 8, um, actually, I'm going to, just so you know, I'm probably going to upload this either January or February, sometime like that, and the reason why I'm doing that is because I try to stick to one, now I'm trying to stick to one video a week, if I did them all at once, I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't have videos for like months, and or maybe like a long time, Try to stick with the schedule until I can upload more videos or until um, stuff happens. But, um, yeah. So, um, basically, it's kind of like between Star Wars 3 and 4. It's after Star Wars 3, definitely. It's quite a bit after Star Wars 3. But it shows the, it basically shows um, what you didn't see in Star Wars 4, like the very beginning. Uh, like, the, if you remember Star Wars 4 at the very beginning, I'm not going to tell you what. Like, the, not, I mean, basically, the very, like, basically, the first couple of. Uh, s seconds like the first minute basically shows you what happened, and um, it I'm um, basically let me just say one thing. Um, I I'm not sure if it's a spoiler, but basically, uh, you know how in Star Wars Four this is not part of the movie. It's not part of Star Wars the new Star Wars, but basically in Star Wars Four I have watched it. You know how Princess Leia. It's and for the record, um, it still not happen in Star Wars Eight, but basically you know how Princess Leia gives a disc to R two D two, and basically R two D two and C three P on Star Wars Four. Um, which I'm talking about the original Star Wars movie, the first Star Wars movie ever made, guys. Basically, they basically went to an escape pod, showed the video to Luke Skywalker. Uh, Luke Skywalker was not in Star Wars, um, for no, Star Wars, new Star Wars, sorry. It is in Star Wars first, um, not the new Star Wars. It's, new Star Wars is not in the episode. It basically, you know how it basically says, like, the, um, in the beginning, uh, like, it basically says episode 8, and it gives a little, like, um, descri description of what's happening. It's not through that guys, which is interesting. It's basically not any episode, but um, it's I mean I learned that basically um, the R2D2 did not have the plans for the Death Star, and which I mean some people probably knew that, but um, I didn't. I mean I, I'm not gonna say wh what happened to the plans or what plans happened, but basically it shows kind of in a way how the Rebel Alliance got the plans. Um, basically, I mean, wait a second. Okay, I basically kind of in a way shows how they got the plans, how they got the plans for the first Death Star and Star Wars, New Star Wars. Um, and actually, you know, I'm just thinking of, like, the probably two spoilers that I think are pretty interesting. Um, basically, kind of one way, the d first Death Star, so it's I mean, technically the New Star Wars is basically, be, I mean, basically it tells how Star Wars, and the first Star Wars ever happens, basically. It's kind of like, I mean, if you can watch Star Wars, uh, you want to watch 1, 2, 3, New Star Wars, Rogue One, Star Wars 4, 5, 6. And the seventh Star Wars or for, you know, Force Awakens, um, so it, the new Star Wars is not Episode Eight. It's it's basically between three and four, so it's not considered an episode. It's not like three and a, three and a half. Technically, it is the episode three and a half, kind of. You know, if you know what I mean, it's between three and four. But um, basically, I mean, it, I mean, the basically it kind of like shows like well, how, how everything happened with that happened for this first movie. It's basically just kind of like. And add on to the first ever movie made. If you don't know what the first ever Star Wars movie was, it was basically Star Wars 4, which is now known as A New Hope. You know, I'm talking about Star Wars Rogue One. And basically, the Death Star, if you've ever watched Star Wars 4 in the first one, basically, the first uh, Death Star, you know how they blow it up in the first one? Uh, basically, the, basically, the weakness, I mean, the Empire basically purposely made that weakness. Well, not, not the Empire, but the, the, someone who, the, basically the person who designed the first Death Star. I actually purposely made a weakness so I could get a story, which, I mean, I mean, again, Star Wars Rogue One is basically, uh, tells you how, it basically, it's, an, basically, it tells you how Star Wars 4 happened, um, it doesn't show any Star Wars 4 movie parts, except the first one, and the first part of Star Wars 4, and the last part of Star Wars 4, 
And it, and it also what I think is interesting is um actually without I mean without I mean there's actually an someone from the Empire someone from the Empire actually um it's kind of like the reason I guess you could say in a nutshell why I mean it's I mean obviously they joined the, I mean basically it's talk, someone from the Empire was talking to the Republic if you know what I mean guys um I mean the no, not Republic sorry wrong wrong first no talking to the Alliance and basically she was from the Empire I don't know who it was I don't know who it was actually I don't remember her name. Um, but it was a person, and basically, she without her, without someone from the Empire, it would not have been destroyed. So basically, kind of, someone from the Empire, kind of, or was originally from the Empire, kind of, you know what I mean, guys? Um, basically, without her from the Empire, it, the Death Star would not have been blown up in the f first movie. I mean, it was actually pretty action packed. I mean, it had a lot of, like, it has a basically vehicles from Star Wars 3. It's not, it's not very specific. I mean, there's a ton of vehicles from Star Wars 3. If you, if um, not, I'm not gonna say what it was. And there's also a vehicle from Star Wars Five. And again, that might be a little bit more obvious, but um, Star Wars Five, Star Wars Five. Sorry. Um, sorry if I'm talking fast, but it had a vehicle from Star Wars Five. Actually, a lot of them. And um, let me just say it was pretty interesting. And um, there wasn't any um, tried to say that. No, there wasn't. I mean, well, there were kind of in where wasn't any Jedi's in Star Wars for uh, new Star Wars. So it kind of like, made a letdown, but it kind of. I mean, technically, technically there's no Jedi's, but technically there kind of was. It, they weren't called the Jedi, but you know, um, it's pretty interesting. Like I say, how, how, why it's technically um, is considered Jedi, even though it's not. I'm not saying if it's he or she or she or he or if it's maybe it's an it. I'm not saying that, um, but you have to watch that. Basically, it was actually good. Like li literally, um, I mean, seriously, it was, it was actually pretty interesting. I mean, it, I mean, if you if you want to watch Star Wars, new Star Wars, watch the new Star Wars. I can basically recommend watching Star Wars one to six. Now, in the beginning, in the beginning, guys, you might think, um, yeah. So basically, in the beginning, like the first part of the movie, you might think it's from Star Wars, kind of is after Star Wars seven, or basically tells the story of Star Wars seven, or basically the first awakens. But no, Star the new Star Wars, the Rogue One, is actually not a part of the new the second Star Wars. Second newest Star Wars, Star Wars First Awakens or Star Wars Seven. Uh, it was basically between Star Wars Three and Four. So when it does come out on DVD and Blu-ray, if you like watch it, um, if when you do watch it, you're gonna have to watch. I recommend Star Wars One, um, which is what is it? Phantom Menace, Star Wars Two, Attack of the Clones, Star Wars Three, Revenge of the Sith, uh, the Star Wars, um, Rogue One, which is not in the episode, uh, and then Star Wars Four. Um, Star Wars 4 is A New Hope, Star Wars 5, Empire Strikes Back, Star Wars 6, um, what's Star Wars 6? Star Wars 6 is, wow, oh, Star Wars 6 is The Return of the Jedi, uh, Star Wars 7 is The Force Awakens, I mean, I was technically expecting, or not technically, maybe the words not technically, but I was expecting the new Star Wars to be Episode 8, but it was not, it was like, Interesting, I guess you could say. I'm not gonna say any spoiler. I mean, I'd obviously, say spoilers, but I'm not gonna say anything. I mean, it was actually pretty darn interesting. And let me just say one thing, guys. It was actually pretty funny. It was pretty funny. I mean, it was pretty funny because it's a uh, certain thing. I'm not gonna say what it was, but it, I'm just a certain thing. Um, so yeah, it was a certain thing that was pretty funny, and um, it was actually the, why <laughs> it was kind of it was funny, but it was actually I mean it, the thing. Was actually funny, but it was kind of in a way it was funny, cause um what it was doing, I guess you could say, and also what was that saying, and also like what I mean, it was basically funny, cause it was at that thing, and um basically, and it was pretty good. Um, I mean, I but basically it was a practically perfect movie. I mean, beyond perfect actually. I mean, I that was the first movie that I've ever given any higher than an A, which is basically perfect, but it was beyond perfect. Like I mean. Probably the best movie I've ever watched in my life. I mean, and that's pre I mean, Disney usually doesn't. I mean, even though technically Disney owns it, uh, I mean, Disney. I mean, I don't think that was not made by Disney, guys. I can guarantee you that much. Because Disney does not make that good of movies. Um, Disney or Pixar makes a bit better movies than Disney. Uh, you know, Pixar. Technically, Disney owns Pixar, but technically, Pixar is another company all by itself. But technically, Disney owns it. Just like Alphabet owns Google, but um, Google's not Alphabet, if you know what I mean. Maybe you don't know what I mean, but, um, or kind of like, um, well, I don't know. Um, but it was, it was actually, I mean, just watch for yourself, guys. 
I mean, it was pretty darn interesting. Um, and it was actually kind of confusing, if you know what I mean. I mean, I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't have to. I mean, I don't. I don't know everything about it, guys, because some of the things. I mean, I have to watch it again, guys, because it's pretty interesting. Very interesting. Um, basically, I mean, I watched it in 3D, guys, and I do not recommend watching 3D. I mean, it. I mean, it was basically kind of distracting, in a way, guys. I mean, I mean, I would, I'd rather watch it. I mean, it, I mean, it, the depth, the quality. Yes, it was 3D, but it, it wasn't really good 3D. 3D. The 3D was very horrible. It was not. It was. It was basically like almost not 3D. I mean, it was kind of like. I mean, seriously, you could basically get that good of quality with a 4K display that's not 3D. I mean, better, way better. I mean, 3D was not very convincing. I mean, it was kind of. I mean, I don't know what they did with the 3D. I mean, the 3D. I mean, seriously, guys, the 3D was not actually very good. Um, did, I did watch 3D. I do not recommend watching 3D. It was pretty bad. It was, uh, it was like probably one of the worst 3D effects I've ever seen. I mean, you get better 3D effect from a freaking 3DS game. I mean, seriously. So, I mean, that's how bad the 3D was. But I recommend watching it and not 3D because it would be a little bit better resolution. Maybe not resolution, but better quality as far as detail. Um, but, and 3D, uh, I just don't recommend it, guys. Don't recommend watching it in 3D. Um, very distracting. Well, not very distracting. It was actually... I mean, distracting as far as the, I mean, the quality of the movie was actually, I mean, like, seriously, guys, I have a 480, oh, I just have, I have actually a TV from 2001 that can give, that basically gets better quality. It's a 480, it's not an HD, it's not 3D, it's basically, it's better, it's a 14 inch TV, guys, and Star Wars 7 had better quality, and at least DVD, um, then, or oh, basically, almost every single movie I've watched that basically is good quality, it's known to be good quality. I think almost every single movie I've watched is actually looks better on that. I mean, yes, that um technically you can see the credits on the screen on the movie theater, but I mean that's the only thing I my TV is sucks at. But I mean, well, I, just, I don't know. But um, if quality was not good in 3D, maybe it's the quality is not good at all. I mean, it's kind of like DVD quality as far as 3D goes. Now, I'm not sure if it was recorded in HD. It probably was because obviously they're going to be releasing Blu-rays. I would kind of need to. Well, maybe not. Well, actually, you technically can watch things in Blu-ray or HD, which actually was not originally HD. Kind of weird, like movies that were not recorded in HD, like old ones. But um, yeah. So I mean, it was. I mean, you'll basically be surprised, guys. It is very interesting. Hopefully, I didn't spoil too much. Again, in my defense, I'm gonna be uploading this in January or February. No, I'm. I, I mean, not. I mean, I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna schedule this probably in January or February. My, you might be seeing it a little, maybe in, a little bit later, like March, because I like to stick to one video a week. I need to, and I can't upload it right now, um, because uh, where I usually upload my YouTube videos uh, is closed. I don't have a personal computer. I don't have a laptop. I don't own a device where I'm at that can uh, possibly um, what's the word, upload videos. And plus, I'm recording on a camera. No, it's not a microphone. It's a camera. I'm just recording at lowest resolution. And I'm recording it black, just to make it a little bit easier on me. And also, so it uploads super fast, very quick. And I probably need to stop because this camera makes very bad SD card errors when you record too long, like 20 some minutes. But um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this review. Um, yes, it was spoilers. I probably I'm, I'm gonna put that in the description as far as the title of the video, warning or like spoiler alert, like in stars or whatever that word is. I don't know what the word is. But I mean, I, I don't edit videos, but I probably I mean, don't I tend or kind of whenever a video whenever Google detects a video is shaky, I basically say fix this. I do not want shaky, but that's about it as far as editing videos. I just have Google do it. I don't do any work. Uh, I will probably do any more work, especially um, if I can actually get a computer, and um, if I actually need to, I actually can actually make. Uh, I don't make money off YouTube now. I don't have AdSense, but um, after I get a little bit of money, um, yeah, to make a computer, because I want to do video games, guys, and I, I mean, I'll, I'll probably be doing a Christmas haul, um, but not to win. Uh, I'm just stay tuned for that, but it's probably gonna be that haul is probably gonna be February or March. Now I think about it, maybe maybe January or February, but I don't know. Um, because I try to stick to one video a week, but if I ever get AdSense and if I ever do video game recording, like that, I actually want to do. Um, you can expect in a video maybe once a day, depending on if I can, depending on stuff, maybe once every two days. But for now, I'm sticking one video a week, just telling you that, guys. 
Uh, maybe it's gonna be a, maybe I'm, I'm gonna skip some weeks depending on if I don't have any videos. But uh, hopefully I have enough videos. I mean I have a lot on this SD card. 50 gigabytes, not a lot. Um, I can only record like what two hours of uh 1080 video on this. But um yeah. So uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that like button. Subscribe if you know the channel. And I will see you guys next time. And uh, well, bananas. Okay, see you later. Anyways.